this problem is asking us to use what we just learned about the fractional composition to express this solution and figure out what is its pH and what is my fractional dissociation. Okay, so in this situation, we have a 0.1 molar weak acid, so we can make an ice table and figure out the end that Ka equals our 1.00 times 10 to the minus 5, and that equals our x squared over our f, which in this case is 0.100 minus our x. Now because there's such a difference between our f and our Ka, we can assume this x goes to 0. Okay, so in this situation now we can do our math and solve for x, and for x we get 0.001. Now what I recommend doing is actually work it yourself and make sure you stop the video and check and see if that's what you got at the end. So our pH now, how could we use this x value to solve for pH? Remember this is an acid, so our x and for acids in our Ka equation is equal to our hydrogen ion concentration. So my pH equals negative log of my x, 0.001, which means my pH equals 3.00. Okay. So that's the first step. So that's my first question. My second question it asked me was for my alpha. So my alpha then, remember, equals x over my f. So I literally just take my x that I found earlier, plug that in for this x, 0.001, and that's because this x stands for hydrogen ion concentration, as does this one, over my f, which in this situation is 0.100. So my alpha equals 0.01, okay? Or another way, so this is the way of expressing alpha as a fraction. If it asks for you to express it as a percent, just turn that into a percent sign, so 1%, okay? Plus all your sigmoids and all that, okay? So, with this type of problem, it's as straightforward as recognizing it's a weak acid, so I've got my Ka, so I can find my acid concentration, so then I can find my pH, and I also can find my fractional dissociation.